Hello mga ka-vibes! It's me, Melanie Pino, and welcome to my channel! Simula na ang school year 2020-2021. Handa na ba kayo sa inyong pagbabalik eskwela? Wow! So mukhang handang-handa na nga kayo. So ngayon, samahan niyo ako sa aking panibagong journey bilang Teacher M. Samahan niyo ako sa aking mga math tutorials. So, kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, huwag kalilimutang i-like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para hindi mo ma-miss ang aking mga ina-upload na videos. Ang topic natin sa video na to ay tungkol sa sets para sa mga grade 7 students. So, tara! Simulan natin! Let's begin! Sets, an introduction. A set is a well-defined collection of different objects that share the same characteristics. Any objects such as numbers, people, letters of the alphabet, symbols, and so much more can make up a set. There are two ways of defining a set. The first one is the roster method. It means listing the elements. And the second one is set builder notation or also known as rule method. It means describing the elements. So again, so when you say roster, it is listing. Set builder notation, describing. Let us have some examples. Write each set using roster method. So the given set, set A, is equal to even numbers between 1 and 10. So in writing a set or listing the elements of a set, we name it using a capital letter on the alphabet. So because the name here is set A, so we will use A equals then in writing the elements, we will enclose it using braces before and after listing the elements. What are the even numbers between 1 and 10? So we have okay, 2, 4, 6, 8. And this is how we write the elements using the roster method. How many elements are there in set A? So again, what are the elements of set A? We have 2, 4, 6, and 8. So how many elements are there in set A? Yes, very good. So the answer is 4. 4 is the number of elements and it is written in this manner. The number of elements represented by small letter N, the number of elements in set A because the name of the set is A. So that's why here we have letter A equals how many elements we have? 4. It is also called cardinality. So when we say the cardinality of a set, it is the number of elements. Let us have number 2. Set B equals colors of the rainbow. What are the colors of the rainbow? We can write the elements in random. So it's up to you on how you will write the elements. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So, did you get the correct answer? So, how many elements are there in set B? The cardinality of set B equals 7. Now, let's proceed to set builder notation. We will describe the elements. So, let us have number 1. Set C equals January, June, July. Yes! So it is a month of the year beginning with J. We read it as C is the set of all X such that X is a month of the year beginning with J. 
or we can also write it as simple as that set c equals then open breeze and months of the year beginning with j set d equals one three five seven nine eleven what do you think is the answer We set the equals add numbers from 1 to 11 or set the equals add numbers less than 12. So, maayon sa dalawa ay pwede mo yung sagot. Now, let us have some exercises. Write each set using roster method. Set A equals counting numbers greater than 10. So, how will we write this using roster method? I'll give you 5 seconds. Okay, time's up. Answer is set A equals 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. So, we have 3 dots here. It means ellipsis. It means the set is infinite. Yes. So, cardinality of set A is infinite. Okay, number two. Set W equals whole numbers less than 5. I'll give you 5 seconds. Okay, time's up. So, the answer is... Set W equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because when you say whole numbers, it starts from 0. And then it's less than 5. So, we only have what is the cardinality of set W. Okay, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct. Next. Set N equals whole numbers less than 0. Whole numbers. Okay, so the answer is empty set or null set. So n equals, so when you say empty, walang laman yung loob noong braces. Or we can also write it using this symbol. So it means empty or null. Walang whole numbers na less than zero. Okay, so the cardinality obviously is 0. Set D equals primary colors. Primary. So what are the primary colors? Answer. Set D equals red, yellow, blue. Pwede ring? Blue, yellow, red, yellow, red, blue, or blue, red, yellow. Maalin, basta yung elements na tatlo na nandito ay yun pa rin. Yung nasa loob, walang dagdag, walang boss. The cardinality is 3. And last for the roster method, set C equals add numbers less than 8. Add numbers less than 8. Answer, set C equals 1, 3, 5, 7. And the cardinality is 4. Let's proceed to set builder notation. So we will describe the elements here. Set A equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. What do you think will be the or how do we describe these elements? Okay, answer. Set A equals whole numbers. Yes, that's correct. And the cardinality? A. Infinite. How about number 2? Set B. 
Zero. One, two, three, four. Up to one hundred. How do we describe them? Those elements. How do we describe those elements? Okay, set B equals whole numbers from 0 to 100. So the cardinality or the number of elements in set B is equal to 101. Number 3, set C equals Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, we have set C equals weekdays or we can also have set C equals school days. Cardinality is 5. 4. Set D equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Ano kaya itong mga numbers na nakasulat dito? Itong mga elements ito. Okay, set T equals prime numbers less than 20. And the cardinality is 8. Last but not the least for these exercises, set E equals September, April, June, and November. Timer starts now. And the correct answer is set E equals months of the year with 30 days. Do you agree? Oh, yeah! Let's check your calendar. <laughs> okay, the cardinality is 4. So again, let us have a recap. What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects that share the same characteristics. Objects such as numbers, people, names, letters in the alphabet symbols and so much more so there are two ways in defining a set the first one is roster method or the listing of elements and the set builder notation are also known as rule method which is the describing of the elements roster listing set builder describing so how do we write a set using braces and separated by commas. What do you call the objects or the term that are inside a set? So these are what we call elements. What do you call the number of elements inside a set? It is what we call the cardinality. How do we name a set? Using a capital letter in the alphabet. So what are counting numbers? So it starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. How about whole numbers? So when you say whole numbers, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. How about even numbers? Even numbers starts from 2, then 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. And add numbers, the opposite or the counterpart of even numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and so on. How about prime numbers? So prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, 1 and itself. Is 1 a prime number? No. Prime numbers begin from 2, followed by 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. That's all for now. I hope you like my video. Thank you, thank you for watching. Till my next video. Bye.